What's going on guys, Shadow Hollow here signing in bringing you another Monster Hunter Rise video and in this video I wanted to take a deeper dive into bow coatings. I see a lot more people using the bow in Monster Hunter Rise which is a really good thing to see and I thought it would be a good idea just to take a deeper dive into some of the different aspects of the bow. And in today's video I wanted to talk about bow coatings. And the first thing that I want to talk about is the best way to go about using them. Now, most of you know that the bow, whenever you use it, the typical combo is to shoot the bow to the max level and then go into your power shots from there. Now, whenever you're applying your coatings, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is just hold the bow until it gets to the max charge and then release it or the max amount of arrows that it releases. So my bow at level two shoots out spread level four. Spread level four shoots out five arrows. So that's the charge that I wanna to wait to to actually release the coating. So I'm gonna show you an example of this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot the bow normally uh, using the each individual shot and then I'm gonna hold the coatings and shoot from there. So we're gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm using the, the wrong coating. I'm actually gonna use the sleep coating. So I guess I'm just wait for the monster to actually get back up. Okay, so we're gonna count to see how many shots it actually takes to put the monster to sleep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it takes 14 shots to actually put the monster to sleep. So I'm going to wake him up. And then we're going to see how many shots it takes if I actually shoot the bow at the max charge or the max number of arrows that it can release. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the reason for that is each arrow is applying the coating. So if I'm hitting him with the level one, it's only shooting out three arrows, whereas level four is shooting out five arrows, and each one of those arrows is applying the coating. Now, going from there, what you want to keep in mind is that the monster, whenever you apply an element to the monster, that same element, you can't apply it again until he's over the element. So what I mean by that is if he's sleep, hitting him with sleep coatings is just wasting your sleep coatings. What you can do, however, is hit him with a different coating. So if he's sleep, I can switch over to blast and start hitting him with blast coatings. Or if I have poison, I can switch over to poison and start hitting him with poison coatings. And those coatings will apply to the monster even though he's sleep. But if he's sleep and I'm still hitting him with sleep coatings, they actually don't apply until he's over that coating. So if I'm still hitting him, I'm basically just wasting those coatings. So moving on from there, does hitting the monster in the weak points matter? Like does that do any or make any difference as far as applying the coating? And the answer to that is no. So I was purposely hitting the monster in the head before. Now I'm going to hit him in his belly and we're going to see how many it actually takes to apply the coating. Hopefully I didn't hit him beforehand. One. Two. Three, four, we know it takes nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yep. So as you can see, weak points does not matter when applying coatings or elements to a monster. 
Next, let's talk about the melee attack. Does the melee attack actually apply the element to the monster? And the answer to that is yes, but it takes a very long time to do it, so it's not practical. Whenever I tested it, I basically just sat here hitting the monster like this, and it took about 46 to 47 times of hitting him just like this to actually apply the element. And that even goes for dodge bolt. So yes, the melee does apply the element, but it takes a very long time to do it. Next, let's talk about the resistances. Now each monster has a resistance to the element, so one monster might be more weak to poison, but the next monster might actually be resistant to poison and you might have to apply more coatings in order to actually apply it to him. And you can see which monster has what by going in the hunter notes and just looking from here. So if we look, uh, Diablos is three star weak to paralysis. So that means it takes a very amount of coatings to actually apply this. And then each monster, once you apply an element, actually builds a resistance to that element. So the next time you try to hit the monster with the element, it takes longer. But you know, if a monster is really weak, even on the next one that you try to apply the element, it'll be easier. It'll be harder than the first time you actually try to apply it, but it'll still be easy compared to other monsters. So that's something that you have to keep in mind whenever you're picking your bows and fighting your monsters, how weak they are to the actual element. Next, I want to talk about do the skills of your armor play a factor when applying coatings and the answer to that is no but to give you a visual representation of that um, I'm going to go ahead and strip my character of all the armor and all the skills so we can actually see this firsthand And we have to keep the mighty bow so it can still get those charge levels. So it takes nine. Go ahead and apply the coating again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I messed it up. I ran out of stamina. I would say that's about eight. And that's about nine. But I messed it up. But I think you get the example. It takes around, uh, it takes nine to actually put them down. And that's even without uh, armor on. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about is the reload speed skill. Now, if you played bow and Monster Hunter World, you may have overlooked this. But the reload speed skill, that's hard to say, um, actually allows us to auto load coatings, bow coatings now. So um, I'm going to put my armor back on and I'm going to put those decorations on to get the reload speed skill. And you only need to level one, increase the handling. And I think that's just how fast you can actually apply like that whole animation to I didn't test it but I think it's just the whole animation to actually applying the coating will be faster but we're gonna go ahead and put level 2 on so as you can see I'll just show you level 2 hold on as you can see level 2 loads bow coating automatically so once you have this skill on as you can see it automatically applies the bow coatings and that's even if you don't have your bow out it will just automatically put the bow coatings in and then you could just go from there you could just shoot from there and then you, if you do that it'll just automatically load it in now I'm using my direction pad to cycle through and if you want to use your direction pad to cycle through your coatings, um, you'll have to change it. By default, it's set to the action bar. 
but what you have to do is you'll have to go to options and then go to controls and then go to here and then switch it from action bar to item bar and then once you do that you'll be able to cycle through like this just pressing up and down on the direction and you'll lose access to your action bar but you can always go to your radio menu and apply it there so I have mine on shortcut 3 and I have a lot of the commands from the action bar on shortcut level 3 but all in all that's pretty much it guys that brings me to the end of this video if you found it useful a like would be much appreciated comment down below if you have any questions and if you have not subscribed for more videos that I have coming later and hit the notification button to get notified for whenever I post but I'm out of here guys I'm Shadow Hollow signing out and I will see you guys in the next video